Welcome to Soul Trek. Today's episode, New Habits. Now, I have to uh, admit, I was going to call this episode of Soul Trek uh, Teaching an Old Nun New Habits. Uh, You know, sort of a riff on that old saying about you can't teach an old dog new tricks. Uh, The fact of the matter is you can. Even this old dog uh, can be taught new tricks or new habits. Uh, new things to improve our life, new things to improve, well, in this case, it's our spiritual journey. Back in 1974, my brother had a record, the Doobie Brothers, uh, what were once, I always get this backwards, because it makes no sense if I get it backwards, what were once vices are now habits. And the big hit off of that record, or one of the big hits, was Black Water. And I loved listening to that song. I loved listening to that record. And, uh, you know, when you, when you got the record on the turntable, uh, vinyl records, of course, back then, and you had the record sleeve in your hand, uh, you know, you just kind of look at every part of it while you're listening to the uh, record playing. And that title intrigued me. What were once vices are now habits. Now that probably has to do with uh, drug addiction. You know, what were once vices, what were once things that we weren't supposed to do have now become habits. Uh, uh, Things that we have to do like we're we're addicted to them. So I'm not really talking about that kind of addiction, but I am talking about how it is possible for us, even people like me who are elderly, like an old nun or an old dog, Uh, I can be taught uh, a new habit. I can achieve a new habit in my life. Uh, And the way I heard it explained recently was someone said, uh, if you make a plan to run for an hour every morning, um, that's really a difficult thing to achieve. Um, And so rather than making running the habit, uh, make putting on your sneakers the habit. And that's all. Just just make the plan that every morning at 8 o'clock or whatever time you put on your sneakers and then uh, eventually you're going to start adding to that and adding the running uh, to that as well. The same sort of thing applies in our uh, uh, spiritual journey as well, our soul trek. Uh, For example, uh, if we want to develop a habit of prayer, um, that's a really difficult thing to achieve. Uh, especially if you're kind of going at it cold. So the thing to do there might be to make the habit um, sitting in a certain place, a place that you've designated as a place of prayer. Um, Rather than opening up Facebook first thing in the morning or whatever other habits we might already have, uh, just going there to that place of prayer. And eventually we'll start adding uh, prayer to that habit as well. I knew a man who gave up smoking after a lifetime of, of smoking, uh, probably 50, 60 years uh, worth of smoking. Uh, he finally gave it up. Uh, but what he found was that he also had to give up the things that he associated with smoking. So uh, whatever he might have been doing uh, while he was smoking, he had to give up a lot of those uh, things as well. I laugh because some of those things were things that he really enjoyed and were things that really um, were probably very helpful to him. But he had to give them up because when he did them, he felt like uh, uh, like having a smoke. So he had to create a whole different set of things and activities to do that he didn't associate with smoking. And that made it a bit easier for him to give up smoking. So if, for example, meditation is something that you want to add uh, to your life, one of the most valuable lessons I I ever received uh, while someone was instructing me about uh, meditation, uh, he he said to me, the very first thing that you must know is that it's okay to fall asleep. What what a relief to hear that. Uh, It meant it was okay. And he added, he said, uh, not only is it okay to fall asleep, it's okay to make a grocery list. You can, you know, you can, uh, you're there, you're ready to do that meditation, but these other things can creep in if it's sleep 
or if paramount on your mind is that grocery list or whatever, do it, get it over with, and that frees you uh, to be able to uh, eventually enter into that uh, time of uh, meditation. Make the habit, uh, the place, the posture, a candle, or something like that, and eventually you're sitting there, you're thinking, well, I got the place, I got the posture, I got the candle, I might as well meditate. One of the things that I like to do on Sunday mornings is to greet people as they're coming into the church. I don't always get to do that. Sometimes it's too cold or wet outside for me to do that. Sometimes there's other things. I like to have everything well planned in advance, but sometimes things crop up and I have to deal with something else. Uh, and so I can't be out there. But I remember a few summers ago, I was standing outside our church and I saw a man walk by and I probably nodded at him and he nodded back or something. And the next Sunday I was standing outside and this man walks by and I nodded at him and I thought, well, I think that was the guy from last week. By the third and the fourth week, I was sure that it was the same man walking by the church at the same time uh, every Sunday morning. And uh, then there was one Sunday when I looked up into the congregation and I saw the man sitting there. He had joined our congregation, became a, a part of our congregation. And I thought to myself, I wonder how many Sunday mornings he walked by the church and I didn't happen to be out there or I didn't notice him or, or whatever. Or how many Sunday mornings he got up and got dressed with the intention of going to church and decided uh, to stay home or to go to the beach or do something else instead. I wonder how many times he, he got up with the intention that he might go to church that day uh, before he actually did come in and join uh, the worshiping community. Um, he had to create all these other habits, uh, rather simple little things, before he created the habit of uh, actually coming into the church and uh, worshiping uh, with us. That's one of the things we can do. We can make uh, the habit getting up and getting dressed on Sunday mornings. And eventually we'll say to ourselves, well, I'm up, I'm dressed, I might as well go to church. I might as well add that to uh, uh, my, uh, my routine, my habits. Um, you know, I think, th I think that's helpful for us. Uh, not to try and create big things in our lives, but to create those little things that enable uh, those bigger things to help us on our soul trek. And uh, we don't need to worry about it so much. I mean, we put so much pressure on ourselves that we have to do it this way. We have to do it the way the experts do it uh, and stuff like that. I, I don't think we're in a hurry. Uh, I don't think we need to get it perfect right away, uh, but just to start in, uh, in little ways. And uh, I'm sure God appreciates it. And I'm sure we all will benefit from that. And it actually reminds me of a line from uh, Blackwater. And I ain't got no worries, cause I ain't in no hurry at all. God bless. <laughs>